Welcome back to Crusader Kings. No, this is Total War Warhammer Britonia with Carcassonne. I think that's how I pronounce it. Uh, someone told me in the comments below. I actually forgot your name. Sorry. Anyway, Carcassonne or something. Or Carcassonne. Carcassonne. That might actually be more it. Yeah, Carcassonne. That's how I'm gonna call it from now on, even though I don't like it. I mean, uh, I liked Carcassonne more, but Carcassonne. That is how what we're gonna call it from now on. So we have a small rebellion here. Uh, it's not really a rebellion. It's a green skin incursion, and they are threatening Castle Carcassonne. Well, we can't really do anything. Like I said, we are losing a little bit of money. We have a secondary army over here in Artyr. Will I build up Montfort? That's a good question, actually. Castle Bestone is over here. Bestone is completely alone, apart from Montfort. Bestone, can I get that with a heraldry? I can. The heraldry of Bretonia. Enables a confederation with Bretonia and I get 100% diplomatic uh, relations with them. Bestone is right here. I, I want this and then probably, yeah, I'm just gonna go Chivalry, Diplomatic, Dwarf Realms, and the Empire. Yeah, I'm just, how about we just go this? Like, straight up. Uh, let's actually just go with this for now. Because I might not want to unite myself with the others, but instead go on these decrees first. But also I need... I probably need to do this. I'll get some of these um, agricultural and economical technologies going because we are losing money a commandment in the forest of Arden I'm gonna do the same commandment venerate the lady over here we're not actually making money how is that why, why don't we why are we not making money over here are we not taxing these people Are we literally not gaining any income? How am I even... What am I even getting income from? We literally only get taxes from farms. Wow! That's super bad! That is actually really bad. Uh, wh what is this? Affected by peasant economy. Yeah, I know. Wow, okay, I actually did not know this. So we do desperately need a farm over here in uh, in this province because we're not actually making money. That's That explains a lot. This character has a skill point, the Fayette Chantress. We could go with the Cresting Bow, but I don't actually have Cresting Knights at the moment. And I also don't have Grail Knights or Royal Pegasus Knights or Royal Hippogriff Knights, so we're not gonna take that yet. Instead... I might need... Uh, I might want the... Shield of Thorns or the Flesh to Stone. Get the, give that to someone who has high armor. Uh, who's shot by arrows. Or just some knights who are charging. Hopefully, hopefully this occasion is attacking us right now. Because I don't want to wait too long in this province. Just sit around here and do nothing. Not actually sure where I want to expand, to be honest. Probably into Talea. You want an aggression pact? I accept. Because I don't actually care about the Empire Secessionist. Okay, they are attacking us. Let's see. Uh, do we get a wall? I hope so, because otherwise we are going to be in a little bit of a trouble. Not really. We have a lot of men. Like, we have a lot of troops. Oh, we totally have walls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot this. I forgot this part. How could I forget? Um, the only part I don't like about Warhammer. It's like literally the only thing I absolutely despise about Warhammer. Even though I love this game. But the Siege suck. 
They suck so bad. I hate them. <sighs> they frustrate me. They <laughs> so badly. I, I can't actually... I, I think in every siege battle that I've ever done, I always complained about them. I totally need to go on the workshop and grab me some custom uh, siege battles for the campaign. Because... Yeah. Uh, there are many complaints I have with Warhammer, but I still love it because it's the first fantasy Total War. I just love fantasy, I love Warhammer. I love Total War, it's just the best combination of three things. Sadly, it's not the best, you know... It is good, uh, you know, they made it... Mm, how can I how can I say it without insulting them? Creative Assembly, I mean, I don't want to insult them. I think they did a good job with Total War Warhammer, but I just don't like that it's so casual. I, I know I'm not saying anything new here, and... I'm just repeating myself because I've said this so often in the past. I even made, before Warhammer came out, I made a video where I, you know, talked like an hour or so about my thoughts about Warhammer. And it just, it's pretty much the same, what I'm saying right now. It's too arcadey, the battles are too fast, the sieges suck. But otherwise the game is good. I like the magic. I like the custom, I like all the different creatures and uh, factions, the nations and all that, you know. That is super awesome. The monstrous infantry, I love that. But I just can't stand the goddamn sieges. So, <laughs> enough about that. Enough about that. Let's go to the battle. Let's get into battle. The mounted yeoman uh, cannot put you out here, but I'm gonna get all my knights over on this side. He literally has two trebuchets. Oh, how much would I love to put my trebuchet? Oh, oh camera, please! What are you doing? How much would I love to put my camera? Um, God damn it! My trebuchet up here. By the way, I've never seen. Okay, I know. I said I'm not gonna rant on about this, but look. At this. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at how large this all is. And how, how cool this looks. Why can I not use this? Why can I not fight in this? Like why can I not use these three layer of walls. And just fight up here in the castle and over there. Why? Why are you limiting me to this? CA. Why are you destroying my soul? So I don't think my spear man at arms are going to do much in this battle. I am going to mostly use my man at arms uh, and my heroes. So the peasant bowmen are going to get up on the wall here. One of you is going on the walls. You are going over here. You will go right here. I want you on this side right there. And that is fine. Here's two towers coming right here. So we're gonna get our men at arms over here. Some of them are going to face out on the wall. The others I want to right behind my archers. But yeah, you guard the gate. And my spearmen are going to be holding the gate. Everyone is, of course. Hold the, uh, in guard mode. So, we're actually going to form a box around our gate. Instead of uh, just blocking the gate outright, because this is far more effective. Because I kind of outflank the enemies and all that stuff. You are going to... What is this? Oh, this is, this is, wait, really? This is the end of the, okay. That's a bit, that's a bit of an odd place to put the edge of the map. But all right. Oh, don't scream at me, please. I'm very sensible. 
And we're gonna get our other troops over here. And, and of course I need to get my trebuchet uh, right here. Gonna put it right here. So that it can fire over, over the walls. Start the deployment. Start the battle. Right up forth, my man. Right forth. Okay, trebuchet is already firing. How about you actually fire at these night goblins? I can't really. Can't let you sh fire at them. That's a that's a shame actually. Wow, why did you take? Oh, rock lobbers. Okay. Okay, th these siege towers are taking a lot of them. This one at least is taking a lot of damage from my. from my arrow uh, towers. So that's pretty nice. It's probably going to da go down. <laughs> these goblins stand no chance, these night goblins. They're getting peppered down by my archers. This ram uh, tower has been destroyed and the rest of them are going to be killed by my archers. Sadly I can't actually... Oh, can I not control you myself? How did I do that again? Infern? Yeah, no. It's not actually Infern, but... How did I take over the... Is it this? Manual fire mode. Just fire right... Ooh, that's a little bit low. Fire a little bit higher. Right at this tower. That's better. Yes. I'm gonna destroy this tower. Very good. Okay, they're coming out, but uh, I think we can still destroy this tower. Let's fire a little bit lower. Maybe we can hit them. They're actually breaking, even though they're just fighting my archers. Not sure if I'm even doing damage to the tower, but I'm just gonna continue to fire at it. I'm probably losing some yeoman archers over there. I'm gonna fire another time. Am I actually doing damage? Okay, you have... Do you have, uh, 50 to health? Let's see. Hit them and... Okay, I'm doing literally one damage. That's not a lot. Okay, I did lose some... Yeah, the go go Goblin Wolf Riders here did some damage to my... To my man. His Forest Goblin Riders come now. Did he actually get a... No, I don't think he got his uh, ram to the gate. So, my archers are just destroying them. Let's ride forth here. How about you attack these wolf riders? Even though our archer towers and... You know, all of our archers are doing an um, amazing amount of damage against them here. He still has these rock lovers that are firing at me. Um, I want you to actually attack these night goblins so that they don't return. Look at all these arrows flying through the air. Like, some of them are actually... Where are you going? That is, a, that is insane. How far they are firing. Okay. You attack the rock lovers. You charge against these goblins. You attack the wolf riders and you charge right into the goblins down here. I actually managed to attack these spearmen. So that's pretty nice. Attack the goblin archers now. Uh, could you please hurry up? Thank you. Okay, we are destroying them on all flanks here. Well, there's some more. Attack them. These goblins are super weak, like, there's not much they can do against this. How about you attack the lord, the goblin lord here. Savage Orc Arrow Boys, they're probably the strongest unit they have. Apart from these wolf riders, they are probably very strong as well. But yeah, they're going to just flee now. Let's speed it up a little bit. What are you doing over here?
Attack these goblins. Attack the lord. Kill them all. Probably losing more of my men than I'm killing actually right now. Anyway, we we end the battle. We a decisive victory. It gives us ten chivalry. Barely lost anyone. Most of them died by arrow fire. Seventy u kills for this archer unit. Pretty good. But yeah, I think most of them died by uh, from my arrow terrors. They are super devastating, and you know, the enemy army was just goblins, and goblins aren't really a threat at all. Archeon the ever loser. He's so weak. He's literally so weak. Execute them, because apparently that's more chivalric than ransoming them. Even though I would say that ransoming, uh, you know, demanding ransom for prisoners is more chivalrous than not, <laughs> than just um, killing them outright. So we demolished a lot of buildings. We got a lot of money out of that, of course. And the Christian Peace Treaty, the Empire, and the Skull Smashers. I don't, don't really wanna. I don't think I can actually I upgrade this. I'm gonna get some spearmen and arms and bowmen. Uh, we're just gonna do it. Lord of Britonia. Lord of Britonia. So we're gonna build a... What is this? A tab room. Now we want... No, 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 don't a weaving house. I guess you could want a weaving house. I actually want the farm, however. And over here... I guess I want the woodman's hut. And right here I want the tannery. Because I need that. I need the money. Can upgrade Karis zone, a uh, carcass zone. Sorry, yes. gonna hunt down the green skin scum. Look at they don't, only the riders really survived. Even though the rock lovers survived, some of some of them were completely just completely uh, ran away. We're just gonna do this automatically. Decisive victory, kill them all. Rampage is standard. The Rampage is standard is so cold as those that wield in a battle are always the most desperate to cross the field and charge the enemy. Raguk was killed. I protect, Bretonia. I protect Bretonia. And we're gonna wait one turn down here. I can now get Silverin, her mount, so I'm definitely going to do that. She's level 7, shouldn't she? Uh, oh no, it's level 9. Or rank 9. Silver one, this proud and noble unicorn elevates the enchantress above her host, so all may see and be strengthened by her pres blessed presence. Is that actually a flying mount, though? This proud and noble unicorn. A unicorn is not a pegasus, so I don't think she's actually going to fly. Uh, no, you don't. Not you. You have a level up. My beast woman here. Flock doom causes damage to multiple strong with multiple high chance. They will. Uh, yeah, sure. Get Flock of Doom. So, we're gonna declare war against Astalia, I would say. Tobaro is in ruins. Probably by the Beastmen. Tobaro is over here. So, we're gonna attack over here and go down to Lea into the Western Border Princess. But do we want to just leave the Elves to attack us like that? I guess so. I don't actually. Uh, the skull smashes over here, they are a bit worrisome. Probably need to kill them soonish too. Uh, for now, we're gonna end the episode. Uh, not the episode, the end the turn. We can probably make a confederation. Oh no, we can't make a confederation because we have the confederation debuff. That's why everyone. Uh, not everyone, but we also have a bit of a. Non-aggression pact. Uh, I, uh, I like that, but I'm not gonna pay for it. I don't want to wage war against other Bretonians. It's not very chivalrous. I saw a vision of Gilles Le Breton. He told me to agree to this. But you offered me this. How can he tell you to agree to this? 
Well, hopefully we will be in... Uh, no, we are not. Technology research. The heraldry of Paravone. They disappeared. Uh, the populace in one of your settlements is gradually vanishing. On certain nights, whole ghettos or districts are left abandoned. The only clue for the remaining denizens is a triangular symbol daubed on a nearby gate or wall. I, I, I literally don't know what that means. So, Paravone, huh? This this guy. I, I kind of want to be uh, in a confederation with them, but I kind of fear them as well. Two children of every victory against wood elves. Missile resistance when fighting against them. Um, leadership when fighting against them. I think I need that. Uh, these are not bad either. Uh, no, this is actually... God damn it. Still getting... Green skin is not bad. Against Norskin tribes, that's not really necessary. Let's go with the forest decree because I think we need to fight them first here. So, Carcassonne is still being built, but we did build these things. I just don't have the money to upgrade them right now. Actually, I need a windmill to upgrade this farm. And for some reason, I'm not actually generating enough income now. Still. I can't believe that our castles are not actually generating any income whatsoever. That's pretty hardcore. A paladin would not be bad, and knights errands also quite nice. The most junior of knights, they fight determinedly to make a name for themselves. I would like to have some of them. They are not a peasant unit, so that's very good. That would mean that I can replace my yeoman with them. We actually have some yeoman. Oh, actually, we have a better army now than we had before we attacked. Uh, the last time we attacked them, so we might actually be able to go there and say hello to the elves again. So, yeah, we have a confederation. Oh! That is actually... That is actually new. Or uh, different for confeder uh, for Britonia. Confederation, Britonia grows ever closer to uniting once more. The people rejoice. Uh, they actually don't like that usually, but the Greenskin incursion is soon over, so we are going to regain 20 uh, control. So can I just go and say, hey, let's make a confederation? No, I don't think so. Um, I mean, I don't think we can do that, because we just did a confederation. I think we have to wait at least two more turns. Fey and Chantres. I would like some more um, catapults or trebuchets, actually. Noble. I like these guys, but I would love them to have them down here. Your will? Like, spear man at arms are nice, but I would la rather have pole man at arms. Can actually make them. I, I mean, I just need the smithy. I would like to have knights errands, to be honest. What can I do with this? Man at arms, pole arm. Yeah. Man at arms, shields, spearman at arms, shields. And here we get the knights of the realm at the questing knights. Are we gonna go over here? Oh, we made peace with them, I remember. Wow, he has a lot of eternal guard. Are they that cheap? And a lot of. Glaker. They're actually not that good. Man, they have a l huge range, but other than that, they don't actually have that much melee skills. I actually, they might. I might actually be over uh, underestimating them. Yeah, they actually might be very good. Well, not very good, but they're decent, you know. They're not bad. Excuse me, what did you say? A way stalker. Yeah, I'm kind of scared of you. At least I, I just can't fight you with one army. And Bretonia is even limiting me, me is limiting me even more with the armies than other factions. But yeah, I forgot that I actually have a peace with you. <gasps> Who would I attack then? I might not actually need a decree against you. Anymore. At least not immediately. 
could try to wage war against Wall's Anvil up here and see if we can't beat them. Could probably plunder them, but that's... I assume that's not very uh, uh, chivalrous. And they probably have a strong... Yeah, they have a major garrison force as well. Oh, it can't actually... And Oh, I have to go through here. And I'm gonna suffer attrition. Because uh, when in the forest of Ethel Lauren. Um, how about we go... Maybe Beastman? I'm thinking actually the Green Tide Decree. Double experience in fighting against them. That's pretty nice. Lord Aura bonus with large when fighting against them. Immunity to Baron Wastelet attrition. Snow attrition. Double experience in fighting against North Skin tribes. Or I could just ga go and say, give me the unification of Britonia. Does this give me 10 chivalry each time? Turn your steed around. We're going to attack Astalia, I think. Can't do anything else. We still are not making money. The Woodman's Hunt and the Hamlet have been built. Oh, does that mean I can't? No, I can't because I don't actually have the money for this. But otherwise I would be able to... Oh, we have an iron mine over here. But this does give me income, but I just don't have the money for it right now. Can I raise the taxes? I don't think... Can I even con say, hey, you are no longer needed to pay taxes? Is that even a thing anymore? Like, I knew that was once the inventory war. Oh, yeah, I, know, I remember. 400 chivalry. The land of chivalry. Um, what is this? Britonia is actually very weak you for some reason. Land. I'll have your will and I'll oh, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, I seek the lady. Actually, I don't seek the lady. I already found her in my bed right by me now. So, uh, I think I think that joke would get you quickly decapitated in Britonia lands if you say that you bound the lady of the lake. Except if you did. I mean. Hmm. I'm playing too much. With, I'm, I'm playing too much with Slaneshis. <laughs> they are my other bad, but never mind. Um, Bestone has an imminent incursion. The Bray herds are coming. Out of the forest they emerge. The horned beasts that stand upright in a wild parody of man. They are in the clo they are the cloven ones, the children of chaos, and they have come for us to tear down our civilization. The wards are migrating and destroying anything in the path. Defend yourself from the beastmen wolves. While absently observing the noble children at play in the castle grounds, the scry observed some displaying a certain magical affinity. Could their latent talents be harnessed? Train them yourself. They are means at your, our immediate disposal to aid them training. Let's help these children. Here a recruit. Wow, plus four for paladins. Watch Lady of the Lake. Inform the lead servants. The fan and the damsels will be able to offer the best advice to the children. Request her aid. I think I'm gonna go with this, but... Uh, ten turns, I'm not actually sure if I have... I probably won't have either, to be honest. Uh, no, we're not gonna get this in ten turns. Who's an enemy of Estalia? Because I was... Uh, the Beastman Jacked Horn Tribe. The Jacked Horn Tribe is also a Beastman. Don't know by the way, where's the Beastman? Where, where are the Beastman? No idea. Um, I am running out of money. That's quite bad. I think I have to disband this whole army. Because they are really expensive. But we are going to have an incursion down here, don't we? Yeah, the skull smashers are raiding down here. Yeah, we're gonna have an incursion down here, and I don't think I can actually defend this province. Gerson is not the strongest. But I don't want to have an incursion up here. 
Green skin inversion is very soon over. Soon enough that they won't rebel over here. Uh, yes. But if I get rid of all these troops, that's gonna give me enough money and, you know, I can recruit some more troops. Yeah, we're gonna attack Estalia and we're probably gonna raid their lands a little bit. Raiding is probably going to be not very chivalric either. Oh, I'm I'm a false march, damn it. I hoped I oh I can't recruit troops anyway. I'm poor. But at least we will get a little bit of money. I'm a bit rusty to be honest. I haven't played this game in quite some time. I need to get back on my feet here. Then again, I was never really good at managing <laughs> stupid economy in Warhammer. Oh, the Empire Assassin just destroyed them. Here come the Greenskins. The problem is, I will probably be able to beat this army, but not with the Lord. Um, so we're just gonna say automatic battle. The Goblins uh, are not the biggest problem. The Orc Boy is probably the strongest unit they have. But yeah, the, the Lord is just... Incursion in the stone, settlement lost, ready for duty. This lord, oh, what is this? A red horn tribe. Um, I'm gonna encamp. The lady gives you her blessing. Yes, um, good for the lady. Okay, so what do we have? Is it, we've got a rank, population surplus up here. Can't build anything though. Front trespasser. <coughs> this green skin, green skin inversion has conquered one four, but I don't really care about that. Completed the town in Carisone. Very nice. Can't build anything though. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, we can actually. <coughs> Sorry. We could actually go and. S God damn it! I need to drink something really quick. Sorry. I have something in my throat. Very annoying. Yeah. Hopefully that will help. I think we can go ahead and say Welcome Paravone. How about you join our confederation? You don't wanna join my confederation? What a what is this madness? I am the fae. Um, but I'm gonna say... You will not skill anything, because you actually didn't get a level, but you did. And you are going to get a war horse. Um, maybe? Actually losing armor. Also losing lead- you're losing a lot of leadership with a war horse. Only thing you get is a little bit of a... Uh, charge bonus. And a lot of leadership. But, you know, uh, speed. Sorry. Can't believe you're actually <laughs> losing leadership and everything. Like that's pretty crazy. Um, we're just gonna say you get this last spell. No, do I really want this spell? How about we just say we use upgrade this spell for now? And I'm gonna declare war against this red horn tribe. Lioness is at war with them. Hey, Lioness. Wanna join your war against... These guys. What? Now is the time to unite? Yes. Yeah, sure. But how about you pay me... Uh, like, a lot of money... To join this war. Do, don't you want... Um... Um, 900 gold is pretty much fine, I think, to join the war against the Red Horn tribe. Nice, okay, we did did get some money. We are in a encamped position. We should be able to beat these. It's mostly Angor Raiders. Some Chaos Warhorns, some Saigoro, I don't actually know what these guys are. Oh, they aren't they like giants that throw rocks around? Anyway, we can now build... A smith? 
No, I think the smithy is really expensive. But we could upgrade this or this. Um, how strong is the garrison up here? Eight man and six. Wow, that's pretty bad. I think I'm gonna save some money because I want to build a smithy over here. The smithy is very expensive. I also could probably maybe upgrade the the other building first so that I can get a paladin because he will get plus four to his rank. You want a trade agreement and pay me for it? Yes, I accept. Uh, I I'm gonna take all your money. So Red Horn Tribe, are you going to pass me? Because we are blocking your way and I'm not gonna get out of here. I am gonna stand right where I am. That is cheating. <laughs> That is not fair. He just used the other way. You do have minotaurs. But... I should have recruited some troops, actually. Um, oh, we are getting a lot more money now. Taxes, trade... Let's uh, declare, uh, attack him. We are gonna fight in the other way, I think. Damn, he has two of these catapult creatures. This is not the underway. This is some beast path. I see. Um, we're gonna save. Yeah, I think we can do this in this battle still. We're gonna give this. Uh, this is a charge bonus, I think, isn't it? Yeah, this is certainly going to get on our knights. We're gonna fight the battle in the in the, on the on the battlefield here. Here's mostly archers. So, yeah, that's not gonna be all that threatening to me. We can't really flank around, that is a problem. And yes, two units of Minotaurs. But other than that, we just need to rush them down. Do we have anti-large bonus? Uh, the spearmen should have, right? Spearman. Put a spear in a man's hand and tell him to brace and he will. He will also hope and pray. He is anti-large. Okay. Wow, I've never played in a beast path before. This is absolutely beautiful. Holy shit. Wow. This is absolutely stunning. Look at these trees. Look at this tree. This is a, a normal sized tree. And then look at these trees. Wow. Okay. That is awesome. The atmosphere is just perfect. That's exactly what I would imagine it to feel like. And then we have these... What the hell is this? What the f what the f what looks like someone vomited and it started to live. Uh, there's also some magic coming down on it or something. And then there's like people are actually living over here because someone made a fire over there. Like look at this. Actually, what what are these things? What is this supposed to be? It looks like some kind of fungus maybe. Weird. Um, we're gonna start the deployment. There's a huge rock. Or, you know, it's not really a rock, but it looks like a slide, a rock slide or something, in the middle of my deployment force. That's kind of bad. We're gonna put everyone on. You're yeah, just on the same spot here. Can I actually put someone on here? No. <laughs> that, that would have been fantastic if I actually could have put my catapult up there. The problem is uh, these trees are actually going to be blocking me. Do I want to like put my... C no, I can't ambush them. Oh, you know what? I could actually probably ambush them from back here with my yeomans. So that's pretty good. I could get around them like this. 
So we're gonna try that. And the rest are just going to go right here. My, my trebuchets, uh, I'm probably gonna keep them all the way back. But I'm... Maybe? Maybe. We're just gonna move up here. Yeah, run, run. So... Men at arms, you're gonna... Gonna use the terrain to our advantage here. Gonna spread up very thin. In front of you, we're gonna get our archers. Get our spearmen ready. The battle pilgrims, pilgrims in the middle here. Of course, our ladies here. Let's look at our unicorn. Look at goddamn how small she looks in comparison to these freaking trees up there. But yeah, okay. Unicorn is pretty, pretty beautiful. You know, it's a unicorn. What did you expect? But she's not actually floating anymore. Which is, that's not how you ride a horse. But probably how you ride a unicorn. That can't be comfortable. You know, I've ridden in my life before, and I can't imagine sitting like that in a horse that that is comfortable. Oh, he's not actually moving, is he? No. Okay. not actually moving so makes sense like he, uh, throwing large rocks at me I can't really say that I'm a fan of that how about you fire back you didn't see you didn't see my riders but these guys are surprisingly running at them Uh, don't throw at my Grail Knights or my cra Grail Guardians. I need them. Okay, we're fighting, firing at these guys now. So let's see that. There they go. Stupid magical projectiles. Mm, missed. Missed and missed. Okay, pretty great. Um. Yeah, he just straight up went for my riders. That's okay. My Grey Guardians are going to get massacred here. Run. Flee, Grey Guardians, flee. Yes, withdraw, please. Because I need you still. Get through these stupid Angors. Need you to attack their archers. Okay, obviously we have a little bit of a problem at our hands. Because I actually have no idea what the frick is happening right now. There are just minotaurs everywhere. Can't see because of the trees. And... Um, check the minotaurs. Our cavalry is completely flat. Grey Guardians did return. But how about the field trebuchets start firing on the enemy archers here? Because they are a big threat right now. Oh, his lord is coming back. Um, don't we have a, like, a spell or something? Cast that on them. Didn't really do too much damage. Minotaurs are just wrecking us. Um, we're gonna lose this battle. Attack, attack, attack! <laughs> so much for a victory here. Just give all, give it a, your all. Um, some of my troops are actually returning. 
Hunger Raiders there. You better f attack these beastmen. Or these beast one. Oh, that's just a leaf. Stupid hounds. Attack these hounds before they reach my archers again. Okay, you did actually manage to break through here. So, attack right there. Charge them into the back. You broke these minotaurs, so... Come on, come on. Attack right there. Charge them in the back. Oh, you are being destroyed here, so come back. Let's uh, watch her just crush these archers. <laughs> That's nice. Oh yeah, these uh, giant creatures are a little bit of a problem. Attack them. Get back here, you cowards! Okay, can you please kill these giant creatures? Okay, yes, kill all these... all these Angor Raiders. Do need to replenish your own HP, please. Yes, and help us. Um, how about you retreat for a moment? Let's reform our army here. Maybe attack this lord, because he's kind of causing a lot of trouble right now. And these stupid beasts over here. Nice, a direct hit. Didn't really do too much. Um, I want my Grell Guardians to get out of the battle, because I don't want to lose them permanently. Get back here. You he also go into cover. Okay. Doing some damage. What do we have here? Some human archers. Oh, they flat. Okay. Can't you do some damage? Yes, you can. Um, do it at this guy. Let's see. Oh, nice. You just pierced right through him. Well, gonna attack him again. Don't actually have any m mana left. Oh, we're just gonna charge him now. Attack these Angor Raiders. Let's hope we kill the enemy lord. Uh, yeah, bless yourself. Let's hope we kill this lord. Uh, that might actually just make them flee. I don't want to lose my own lord though. Yes, a flee, lady. Oh, that actually might just destroy the rest of our army, however. Um, no, no, I think my army is fine. Yeah. Uh, not the best battle I ever done. Oop, no, definitely don't. You've lost, but there's honor in this defeat. The enemy is as broken as you end the battle. There's certainly not my best battle. Uh... Yeah, no, this was certainly not my best battle. Look at... the actually... You know... The the hounds and the monitors just did it here. And the the weird catapult creatures. The archers... Weren't actually as much of a problem. That a spearman immediately knew where my cavalry was hidden. A little bit iffy. To be honest, a little bit suspicious. But... Yeah, we'll end defeat. We did at least manage to kill some of his monitors. We didn't lose too much ourselves. What do you seek? Um, but I would love you to actually Who calls me flee now because I don't think we can win another battle. How did we lose a trebuchet? 
Um, could we win another? Could we? Could we win a battle against him? That's a pretty good question. Well, it's not like we're gonna escape for long here if they actually attack us. I think. Mm, yeah, I don't think if I. Let's hope that we just retreat over to Castone. But other than that, we pretty much. It was a pretty bad battle for us. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna end the episode, uh, not the episode, we're gonna end the episode after we ended the turn. I just wanna see what the Red Horn tribe is going to do. Also, I didn't look at how much chivalry I lost. Or maybe I didn't actually lo lose, uh, lost chivalry, because it was a valiant defeat. I see you are true of heart, noble knight. You want a defensive alliance, I accept. We are on the best way to make a federation with the Paravone. Yeah, of course, he's gonna attack us. An ambush! The army failed to spot an enemy ambush. They've launched a surprise attack. What? Also, I lost my battle pilgrims completely. How did they manage to it? Because I'm in a forced march position. Damn it! Didn't even think about that. Well. This banner to my lady. We're gonna save here, and I'm gonna thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, then consider leaving a like and a comment down below. And we will see us in the next episode. We'll probably get crushed. Good times. See you soon. Bye.